The search for a seven-month-old baby who was in a truck as it rolled into a Dade City River on Sunday has come to a heartbreaking end. Our John Thomas joins us live right now with the latest. John, just a tragic situation here. A oh, horrible situation. I want to explain to uh, how everything happened so uh, everyone knows. Uh, right over there, you see there's a, a bank right there. That's where the family had pulled up the truck and put down the tailgate. They've done this a lot of times before in that they come fishing here with the family. The uncle sat on the tailgate with the child. The tailgate and the truck I get, then just moved off into the water and rolled into the water. It's actually family members over there now too, which is just heartbreaking to see. It rolled into the water. It didn't roll very far. It rolled uh, just to the uh, right of that cypress tree. What happened though was the uncle did something that every one of us would have done. He tried to jump off to get the baby out of the way to get, make sure the baby didn't go in the water. Unfortunately, he got caught under the truck and he was pulled under the truck and he was pinned and so was the child. Truck went into the water. It stopped, like I said, to the right of the cypress tree. The baby was found uh, not 10, 20 feet from that cypress tree and that happened around uh, 10 o'clock this morning. Just a really sad situation, Dia. And John, you mentioned that the baby's body was found very close to where the baby went missing. So why did it take so long for authorities to find the body? Well, I can show you that right now, too. Uh, two reasons. You can see the uh, surface water, how fast it's moving. There's a strong current here. But also take a look at how clear the water is. When you're looking at the edge, you can see the rocks down there. Those rocks are probably a foot, two feet out. They're not even six inches underwater. And look how murky and dark that is. There's simply no visibility there. So when they were searching last night, they could probably see maybe four, five, six inches in front of their face. Uh, this morning when the light came out, it was a little better. They could see like 12 inches. But when the divers are in the water, they're basically feeling around by hand, looking and trying to find something. And that's actually how they located the child. And I said it before at the top of 12 o'clock, when they actually found the child, the divers themselves observed a moment of silence as well. Very emotional for everyone here. Just heartbreaking. Thanks, John.